Masterworks of Time is a collection that consists of approximately 800 pieces, and we are selling that over four different sales around the world. It's an extraordinary look into one man's vision of what time has meant over the last 500 years. We felt that it made the most sense and would honor the collection to break it into four sections. The first theme is George Daniels, visionary in London. George Daniels ushered in the age of independent watchmaker, which was something that had disappeared in Switzerland since the 19th century. The Space Traveler is a watch that George Daniels said he made because he thought that if he couldn't go to the moon himself, he could at least bake a watch that an astronaut could use going to the moon. And as a result, it is a very complex watch. The watch has solar and sidereal time, as well as equation of time. It takes 33 people, essentially, to complete a watch. And George Daniels did everything himself, with the exception of the numerals. What's really astonishing is that George Daniels only made 23 pocket watches throughout his life. And this really seemingly could be the very last chance to own a Daniels space traveler. George Daniels, who worked in the 20th century, was inspired by many makers along the way. And one of those makers that he wrote extensively about was George Margetts. We are very excited to be offering Margetts number one. Not only does it have the wonderful astrolabic dial, which also gives you the tides around England, it also is artistically quite interesting because it has on the reverse, on its case, a wonderful Angrazai enamel of a muse uh, staring at a globe of the Earth. Margetts created this watch in the 1770s, and it is another attempt at trying to decipher longitude. It is an extraordinary watch. After the sale on July 2nd, we will be offering seven pieces in the treasure sale of incredible importance probably the most wonderful object that's a watch that I've ever encountered is this watch by Jahan Premsdorf, who worked in Paris in the 17th century. This watch first appeared in a sale in Geneva in 1986. You have to think it's a watch from 1650 that has remained in essentially untouched condition. So the watch not only involved a watchmaker, it also involved a jeweler and an enameler and a goldsmith. And each had to be at the very top of their profession. The sale represents such a great number of watchmakers. There are approximately 140 lots in that first sale. And I would dare say there's probably 140 different makers. It includes watches with astronomical dials, repeating watches, clock watches, watches made for export to China, to India, to Turkey. It's a great sort of view onto the collection as a whole. This collector was quite meticulous. He sought to have the best of the best of every period. The quality and condition of the watches is extraordinary. 